the technique that my father taught me a long time ago was to start with both hands to roll the bagel. So you start with the left hand and the left hand goes left and then the right hand joins in and the right hand goes right. I get tired. It's hard work. It's very hard. This all started at the turn of the century when my grandfather needed to get away from Russia because of the terrible things that were going on there at the time and he jumped on a boat and got off in Montreal. Well, I remember hearing from my mother and father that my father obviously wanted to work with his father and took the opportunity when it arose. I was 23 actually when I approached my dad and said, you know, let's do this together. And I came in and I guess I was perceived as a threat perhaps to some of the older guys and I didn't like the energy. They didn't like me there because I was full of fire. I was a new guy in here but I wasn't joining the club. I was going to remake the club. And in order to do that I had to be here before everybody got here and I had to be here after everybody left. So I started to sleep upstairs. My father had an attachment to the idea that if you're not here watching the place, your employees are gonna burn the place down. So being in a family business, you're always under the watchful eye of the founder. And you can never do anything that is gonna award a pat on the back, but you can always do something that's going to award a kick in the butt. And I asked my father about that once and he said, if you're doing something right, I don't need to tell you because you're doing it right. He said, but if you're doing it wrong, it's gonna damage the business and so that's when I need to tell you. He was really passionate about bagel. <laughs> yeah, he used to talk about the bagel like they were people. I'm only tough because I want what I want, but I'm not tough at all. I want everything to be done the way it's supposed to be done in order to yield the product that I want to represent Fairmount Bagel. It was always a calling to this place for me. Uh, I couldn't really put my finger exactly on what it was, but there are so many coincidences, uh, karmic coincidences, things that are just spiritually interesting that make me feel that that's kind of why I'm here. It's actually my father up there. And coincidentally enough, right behind that sign, my grandfather's room was right there, which is the office where I sit every day. My desk is actually in the same spot where his bed was, and that's actually where he passed away. I was always interested in the business, but you know, as it is with a lot of fathers and sons, there was a period of time where I, you know, I didn't see eye to eye with my dad. And I felt, I think on, on some level, that there would be some sort of acknowledgement from my father. You know, I think I got a thumbs, I got a thumbs up once. That was it. But it's pretty cool, you know, when people come in and they're enamored with the place and trying to figure out what to buy. And I get asked that question, like, how do you feel like running this bakery? Like, they're so famous or whatever. And that's not what I function off of. No? No? No bagel. Like I said, there's not much glory from this side of the counter but people come here from all over the world. You know, there are bagel bakeries everywhere. What's the big thing about a bagel bakery? It's because we still do things the way they used to be done 100 years ago in Russia. Making something that comes out of a wood-fired oven that's warm and people eat it and they smile. I think that's it. Well, it's kind of like bagels in the blood, I think, you know? <laughs> Really good, I can't resist right now. It's too good.